What's going on, YouTube? Vish is coming at you today for another review. Today, I am reviewing the Nautilus um, Atlantis. This is the sub -um tank from, uh, from Aspire that everybody's been talking about. So, got them in. What I have to do, I had to get one. I had to, I had to put my own self on the line so I can make sure I can give you guys the best information I possibly can about products that are on the market. So, um, we're going to see how this works, okay? So, let's go ahead. Get up close and personal with the Aspire. Okay, so this is the up close and personal of the Nautilus, well, no, not even Nautilus, of the Aspire Atlantis. Ooh, comes in this nice little plastic box. It's got a scratch verification on it. I guess this is another type of code. Yeah, and then it has everything that it is, you know, and Aspire Atlantis has risen the bar to new heights. The next generation tank system brings approved air adjustable airflow and sub -um coils to provide performance similar to even the best repeatable as of atomizers. We're going to save all that by enhancing Inspire's bottom vertical coil design. Vapors will experience better taste and better and vapor production. Inspire Atlantis tank design is the carry and sell refill. Aspire, trust the name and personal vaporizers. The kit contains one complete Atlantis tank, one replaceable atomizer, and one replacement Pro X glass. Right. So, I mean, it comes in a nice little plastic box here, you know. Got little stickers on the side. You open it up, you know, and then there's, there's the tank itself. It's really light right now. You know, it's got the adjustable air control from like small, teeny tiny to fucking big. You know, it looks like it's the same type of shit that the Aspire like goes with. Uh, let me open this up. Hold on one second. Okay, so I got this all breaking apart here, and here's what we got. We got a fake wide board drip tip. Okay. Um, I mean, it, it, it's a decent board. It's probably a little bit bigger than like a five ten, but. I mean, it's still classified as a fake wide board drip tip. We've got the top tank section, you know, standard, you know, connection. It's got you know, pressure fitted up in there with these little bitty metal teeth, if you can see that. You know, it's pretty thick Pyrex, Pyrex glass. We've got the control head here with this huge, huge, huge coil. That thing is nuts. And uh, as far as the airflow goes, you got the small. So I can do this one-handed. I really need to invest in tripod. All right, hold on. All right, so you got small focus. There we have small. You got medium. And it's not that's hard to do. It's just it's hard to do it one-handed. You've got the large focus. There we go. Large. And then you have the wide the fuck open. So it works pretty cool. Um, let's see how hard this atomizer is to get out. Uh, turn it one handed, so that's good. Let's go ahead and take it out so I can show it to you. There's the extra Pyrex and the extra, you know, atomizer. And that is the coil. You got these huge juice channels on the side. Huge, huge opening. I mean, this is just like, this is a BBC, like, on freaking steroids. You know, it is absolutely, positively crazy. And that is the uh, Aspire um, Atlantis all broken down for you. I mean, I know uh, other people got the reviews out, but let me go ahead and you know, got the up close down. Go ahead and back up out of here, and uh, we'll see you. And that was the up close and personal view of the Aspire Atlantis. Um, overall, it's it's so far it's like it's a pretty cool tank. Um, let me let me go into like what I like and dislike about it, and then we'll get into some tests. Okay, what I don't like about it, I don't like the way it fills. Um, I'm not a fan of the Aspire tank because of the way it fills. This fucking rubber gasket here, 
You know, and actually I found the easiest way for me to fill this tank is to literally take the atomizer head out, screw the atomizer head into the top, fill my tank, and then screw the base on. That was what I found worked best for me. Um, I also found that the best way to do it to, to make sure your coil is nice and primed is I actually primed the coil by itself. Um, I took my juice and I dribbled my juice down in there, you know, blah, 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 and I soaked it in through the top and through the sides. And I made sure that my coil was nice and soaking wet before I even filled the tank and before I did anything else because um, I've only got one other coil head right now. So I definitely don't want to fry it out, you know, just doing a typical like fucking setup and everything else. So let's go ahead and get into the airflow, okay? Right now, it's the smallest air hole. Very restrictive. So um, I'm not a real fan of that. I'm not a fan of a restricted draw. But um, it's still, even for restrictive, it's still pretty nice. You can do probably a good mouth to roll on. Okay, let's move up to the next size. A little bit less restrictive. Still too restrictive for me personally as a lawn hitter. Next size up. Nice. Uh, this is actually probably like my size. It's not quite the biggest one, but it, it's real nice. And, um, it, it's got a nice easy draw on it. I can pull it right into directly into my lawns. All right, let's get the largest one now. Largest hole. Clouds, bro. Clouds. Okay, so that's the air intake, intake test. Now we're going to put this thing through its real fucking test. Y'all ready for this? I am. I'm really excited about this. Okay, right now I'm vaping it at 25 watts. All right, and this is our vapes 25 watts. Not bad. Um, Flavor is actually really good. Um, I went with my uh, Valley Girl. It's my typical vape. It's what I go to when I'm testing stuff because it's always the same no matter what. And it's got a good, I don't know, it's just, it's one of my favorite juices personally. So let's just go ahead and you crank this up. What do y'all say? I'm going to do 35? No, you know what? We're going to do better than 35. We're going to take it all the way up to 40 watts. Okay, 40 watts. Let's see how she vapes. Clouds, bro. Good density, good flavor. Um, it's about what you'd expect out of a 40 watt device. That's cool. So you DNA 40 people, you're good to go. You DNA 30 people, you're good to go. Let's go on up to the next level, shall we? 41, 2, 3, oops, 50 watts. See how she does a 50 watts. It definitely brings out more of the flavors of my juice. Um, still very flavorful. A little bit warmer. Clouds. It's good. All right, let's go ahead and kick it on up. 75 watts. Okay, it's starting to fall apart a little bit here. Let me close off this air hole and let's get it primed up real good. All right. Flavor is good. Not burning that insulator yet. Not burning that polyfill yet. All right. So 75 watts. I think it's safe to say it's good to go. I had to prime it up. But once I primed it, sticking with it. All right. Fuck it. 100 watts, people. That's right. 100 watts. How she do?
Drip tips definitely getting warm. They have flood wall all the way open. 100 watts. A true 100 watts this time. 100 watts with a 0.6 ohm resistance. So it still falls right in that category. It's still pretty true. She does it. And that's the Aspire um, Atlantis, people. Um, I hope you found this review um, enjoyable and uh, informative. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Vicious. I'm going to enjoy the shit out of this tank. And um, yeah, y'all have a good one.